Hey y'all, this is NQSG and welcome to the channel. This is the first video ever uploaded to this channel, and I sincerely hope you enjoy the content I'll be making for it. Today we're playing Homeworld, Deserts of Karak. The game released on January 20th, 2016, and is the prequel for the 1999 space-based real-time strategy game called Homeworld. This game was developed after the re-release of Homeworld and Homeworld 2 as the remastered collection on Steam. In those games, the spacefaring civilization you play as is from the desert planet Karak. Throughout the games, you are given the history of this civilization through various cutscenes. Deserts of Karak further elaborates on the backstory of those games and fleshes it out completely, but I don't think it's an attempt to retcon something, it just feels more like an elaboration of events that were glossed over in Homeworld. I've played the game before, I've messed around with it, it's been a while though. I never finished it, so I'll be conducting a playthrough for everyone, including myself, because I love a good story in a video game. We're gonna start the campaign. It has a tutorial, but I'm not gonna play it because I kinda know how these games already work. So I'm gonna jump right into Epsilon Base, which is number one, mission number one. And there's a somewhat lengthy load time for each mission, so I'll skip that for you guys. But I've gotta sit through it, so whatever. So without further ado, sit back, relax, and come with me on this journey across the deserts of Karak. Our planet is dying. The desert grows with every passing year. The world is at war. But there is hope. An object has been detected deep within the Great Banded Desert. It has been called the Jiraki Object, the primary anomaly. We believe it may hold the key to our salvation. An expedition to retrieve it is being prepared. The art style of this game is just awesome. And you'll come to find that everything is just huge. in the game that are just hard to wrap your head around. The main enemies are known as the Galcian. It's like a rival clan of the desert. That vehicle is easily five stories tall. Baseball is gigantic. Look at how tiny those dudes are standing on it. Rachel, Galcian attacks have been launched against multiple coalition bases. The northern frontier is under attack. The launch bar expedition carrier, the Capisi, has been accelerated. This is the captain of the Sajet carrier Capisi. All crews, Hangar 5. Stand by to initiate rollout sequence. So instead of it Loading being... control module now. Stand by. A aircraft carrier on water, it's more like a sand it's crawler carrier. 
It's enormous. Laneway clear. All stations green. Captain has the helm. Ample clean blue on all decks. Full complement aboard. Shutter test green. Get set, come up. See if they have any new reports to share on the current AO. Cooling tanks online at 4.3. Power plant reading 5 nine. Cycling at 30 second increments until 99 at 7. Bringing systems online. Fleet manager online. Resource control system online. Unit status online. Command system online. Objective tracking online. All control systems successfully installed and online. Systems confirmed. Rachel, redeploy to your base runner. Copy that. Attention all stations. This is fleet intelligence for the expedition carrier Capisi. I will be issuing all mission objectives through this channel. Before departure, we need to run essential tests on our key capabilities. Vehicle production, resource salvaging, and combat operations. Time is of the essence, so let's run through these quickly. Fleet operations, is your channel clear? Affirmative. I will be providing all non-critical updates on unit production, research, resource salvaging, and all carrier systems through this channel. Copy that. Stand by to initiate production test. So, this is just gonna have us First, go through... deploy a salvager from the command carrier Capisi. This is just gonna have us go through all the basic functions of the game. Carrier here. Salvager online. Stand by to commence resource test. System is ready. Order the salvager to gather nearby resources located here. There's a lot of talking in this game, a lot of story. They try to keep you in universe. Rachel. The Capisi support cruiser has suffered a mechanical failure and requires immediate repairs before departure. All clear. That you Use your base runner to repair the support cruiser located here. Initiating repairs. Repairs completed. Good work, Rachel. Exhausted. Stand by for combat test. In order to produce combat vehicles, we will need to invest time and resources in upgrading our tech. The first step is to upgrade the Capisi's advanced manufacturing facilities. Once that is done, we will be able to build light attack vehicles. Carrier copies. Yay. So now I have to click up here, research this. Research completed. Light attack vehicle fabrication now online. And now they want me to make three of them. One. Produce two, three, three light attack vehicles from the Capisi. Light attack vehicle in service. Light attack vehicle online. Light attack vehicles ready. Target drones are now ready for weapons testing. Something on the Use the light attack vehicles to target and destroy the drones located here. Now these games had a mechanic where the bigger your fleet was at the end of the previous mission before you moved on to the next, the harder the next mission was. Like, the enemies would be overwhelming. One tactic to combat that would be to just destroy your entire combat fleet before moving on to the next mission and rebuild. But that sometimes made it so you couldn't survive the next mission either because there were no resources together. So we're just going to play and keep going with it, see what happens. So I've got these guys, hold control, drag a box around them, and they go in speed, and they go in attack. Oh, 
time compression on this. Got pretty good detail going all the way in. And of course the physics makes them drive through the objects they're shooting at. All required tests are complete. Give me a go, no go for launch. Operations? Go. Bridge? Go. Rachel? Science teams in place? We're go. Engineering? Go. Confirm all systems go. That's basically all you needed to know how to play the game. Uh, Suggest just... Carrier Capisi. We are go for launch. I hit this button. Launch your hands confirmed. On the move. That's the end of the first mission. Outer doors opening. Mass ratio in line. Tracking solved. Doors at fifty percent, looking good. Bring engines to speed and move out. at full aperture and secure. She's all yours, Captain. All stations, this is your Captain. Today we embark on a historic mission to find and retrieve the Taraki object. Lying at the heart of the Great Bandit Desert, deep inside Galcian territory, we believe it holds the key to our survival on this planet. The journey will be perilous. But if successful, we will change the course of history forever and secure our future for generations to come. Personal Log, Science Officer Rachel Sajet, Expedition Carrier Capisi. We've launched three months ahead of schedule and just in time. The Gaussian threat was far greater than we had anticipated. As the lead scientist on this expedition, I'm more convinced than ever that my brother was right, that what lies out there amongst the dunes holds the key to our survival on this planet and possibly beyond. We have no choice now but to believe. So, get one of these menus at the end of every mission, showing you what you got going on. But other than that, that's the first mission. So, thank you, once again. This has been NQSG. If you liked the video, please hit the like button, and subscribe if you want to see more content. And y'all come back now. <laughs>